Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Customs Tutorials Group. And let's go ahead and jump right in with today's poster who wanted to know how to get rid of these light leaks. All this lens flares coming from the sun back here. What's happening is the light is hitting the lens and because the sun is in front of the lens, the light is bouncing off a lens, going back to another one, bouncing off that, going back to another one. And it's just bouncing all over the place. That's why you can see this line and this streak over here. So the first thing we want to do to this photo is use the haze removal tool. That's going to help the picture a lot. It won't be perfect and we'll have to work on it a little bit more. But let's start with that. Go to enhance and go over here to auto haze removal and watch the photo. Boom, there it goes. Now what I don't like is that it wasn't strong enough. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And I want to do the manual haze removal, which is right down here. And this way we can dial it in. It starts out in a center percentage. So if I go before, after you can see what it does. If I can lessen it, or I can make it much stronger. And basically what it does is add contrast to the photo. And that's kind of what we want to do. So I'm going to leave it right around there. Here's the before, after. So that helps out a lot. Watch the photo, boom. That helped out overall a lot. So now what we want to do is change the color of this portion and maybe try to change the green. How do we do that is make another layer and I'll right click over here and duplicate the layer. And the layer on the bottom, I'm going to turn that one off because what we want to do is on the top layer, get rid of this portion right here that's kind of reddish. So what we're going to do is take an eraser and let's use a brush, a soft brush. Let's say, I don't know, let's try 50 point. That looks pretty good size. And I want to carefully take out just the portion that's red right along there. And now what we do is turn on the bottom version back on and it's going to pop right back and it'll look like nothing's changed. We'll take that bottom layer and we'll come over here to enhance color adjust hue and saturation and now what we can do is we can change the hue watch that red streak it's turned blue purple green and this way we can find a better version of the color that's closer to the actual pup and i think that's going to be closer to the yellows and browns over here that's a plus 20. so here's the before after and it's a little bit closer then we can take the saturation the amount of color and pull it down a little bit and then take the lightness of that layer and bring it down. You see what's happening? That streak is starting to disappear. It's not perfect, but it's a whole heck of a lot better than what it was before, after, before, and after. And we're just gonna have to live with that for now. So that's how to fix that portion there. I can't really get it much better than that. Same thing with the bottom, but because it's a different color, I'm gonna turn off that top layer and take that bottom layer. I'm gonna cut out the portion that I had changed the color of so that I can take the rest of it and change that green color. I'm gonna take this layer, I'll right click and I'll hit cut. And it basically made its own layer. So when I turn that, that top back on, it overlays on top of the portion that I cut out. See that? So now what I wanna do is come down here and try the same thing with this greenish part. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but we'll give it a try. We'll come back to the top layer, grab the eraser. This one we can probably do uh, a lot bigger soft eraser because it's this whole kind of portion along here. The only thing is that, and I'll go ahead and turn off the bottom, is that it's going to grab some of the, uh, the rope here. And when we start changing the colors, it's going to change the color of that rope too. So I'm not sure if this is really going to work, but we'll give it a try. All this portion here. And then we can just erase that out. Try to keep some of that cord here. Once we get rid of that, let's go ahead and turn that bottom portion back on. And what we're going to do is click on that portion. Once again, like we did before, go to enhance color, hue saturation, and watch that portion that's kind of green as we change the hues. See that? We can change the hues of everything. Once again, if we brought it more over here like this, right around here, and we can take the saturation and turn it down a little bit. And here's the before, after. It's really subtle, super subtle. So it's not perfect. We'll hit OK. <clears throat> and now we're noticing that the portion here is actually looking better than the rest of the photo. So I can go back to the original up here, go to Enhance. I'm going to go to Lighting, Brightness, and Contrast. And I can change the contrast of the rest of the photo to match our middle section here. That's going to be right around there. This is before, after and we'll hit okay 
and there we go. It's not perfect, but it's better than having a big red streak and all these green colors down here. Well, that's it for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits, saying over and out.